in the biggest game of the season for Ohio thus far. The Bobcats pull out an instant classic overtime upset, 95-90 to over the Toledo Rockets. We'll pick up the game in overtime, which started tied at 83. The Bobcats started with the lead, which changed seven times throughout the overtime period. Ohio took the decisive 91-90 lead on a Maurice and Dorr dunk with a minute to play and followed with a Stevie Taylor floater to push the Bobcats ahead by three. Julius Brown had a three-pointer to tie the game for Toledo with eight seconds left, but a shot bounced in and out. Taylor took the outlet pass for a layup, and Ohio won the game. Listen, this was just a great college basketball game. So both teams played very, very well. Both teams made huge shots. You know, our atmosphere was phenomenal. And, and it was just, it was just to me, my 25 years doing this, this is probably the most fun I've had in a basketball game. The first two halves were eerily similar. In the first half, the two teams traded buckets, and the score was tied at 21 with 11 minutes to play. Toledo took a 29-21 to lead in just over a minute, but the Cats battled back. Three balls from Nick Kellogg and Taylor had Ohio down three, and a couple of fast break layups for Taylor gave Ohio momentum and a 43-34 to lead. Ohio shot an outstanding. 57% from the field and led 45 to 40 at halftime. Now the Cats are 9 and 1 when leading at the half. So the second half was too similar. The teams went back and forth and the game was tied at 58 at the 12 minute timeout. Toledo made their run and held a 67 to 58 lead with 10 minutes left in the game behind their point guard Brown who finished the game with 28 points and 7 assists. But Ohio came back with a Travis Wilkins three-pointer and two more from behind the arc from Kellogg. Kellogg finished with 18 points and a career-high 9 assists. The Cats finally tied it up at 74 on a Taylor 3-pointer. Taylor finished with a career-high 23 points. I just like the big games. I like all games, but I'm saying the big games, you know, as a point guard, you know, I look, I, I look for them. I, I wanted to lead my team today. I think I did a good job with that. Ohio took the lead 76-74 to with a layup from Endor. The Bobcats pushed the lead behind John Smith but Brown hit a shot in the final seconds to tie the game at 83 and to send it to overtime. Ohio was led by Maurice Sendor, who recorded his second straight double-double with 28 points and 12 rebounds. With the win, the Bobcats improved to 16-5 overall and 6-2 in conference play. They return to action on Wednesday against Western Michigan in Kalamazoo. For WAB Sports, I'm Colin Brown.